know, my mother used to always tell me, son, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Le'Veon Bell and safety Mike Mitchell went on to Twitter denouncing the Jacksonville Jaguars, saying they would be in round two with the Pats, meaning they would meet them in the AFC Championship game. Could they keep their word, or did they bite off a little bit more than they could chew? We take it to Heinz Field, terrible towels waving in the air, round two, ding, ding. Fourth and goal, Jacksonville would get the ball in the first half. Leonard Fournette would take the diving TD as they make a statement going up seven zip. The Pittsburgh, don't hold your breath just yet. It's okay, but he gets it to Jesse James, but miscommunication there as Miles Jack intercepts it for the Jags. Jags would retake over downs. Now it's still in the first quarter. Leonard Fournette heating up. Look at this, untouched as he takes it to the end zone for his second touchdown. He finished with three touchdowns and over 100 yards. Look at the score, 28 to seven. Come on, man. Big Ben, gotta go deep, fourth and 11. Who is it? Martavius Bryant gets behind the defenders with the touchdown as they cut the lead to 14. Now it's in the third quarter. Big Ben looking to add, well, cut down the lead. He finds Le'Veon Bell for the receiving touchdown. But it wouldn't be enough as it would be too much offense on the Jags side as that would be the dagger to end the game. Upset, Jacksonville upsets Pittsburgh as they go on next week to face New England, winning this one 42 to 45 to 42. Man. And the future of the Steelers offensive coordinator may be uncertain. According to the Bleacher Report, lack of communication between Todd Haley and Roethlisberger has been worse than it's been in a while. So much so that their QB coach has to be the bridge to relay the information. Haley arrived in Pittsburgh in 2012 and since his tenure has improved Big Ben's passer rating and yards per game. If the Steelers part ways with Haley, look for him to be considered as a possible head coaching candidate in the offseason. And one team still remains in the state of Pennsylvania. The Eagles punched their ticket to the NFC Championship game as they will host the winner of today's divisional round between the Saints and the Vikings. The Eagles did it their way. No Carson Wentz, no problem. They had their field goal kicker and relying on their defense as they would get after Matt Ryan with three sacks and only allowing a touchdown in the game. It's the first time since 2004 that the Eagles will be playing in the NFC title game. That was the same year that they faced the Patriots, Super Bowl 39. All right. Big news there some, for some Philly. Some surprises today. Good, Big good surprises to today. And if people are watching the Vikings and the Saints, Vikings up 17 zip. So it looks like the Vikings are actually moving on. Blood in there. Yeah, moving on to actually being the first team to host that Super Bowl in their city. All right, stick around more weather after break.